Hi students, welcome back to Study Smart Channel. I am Chugu Jennifer here and today we are going to study about dichotomous key. First of all, what is dichotomous key? Dichotomous key is an identification tool that we can use to identify an unknown organism based on the traits that we can observe. Example of traits that we can observe is like how many legs that then our organism have, whether they have three pairs of legs or more than three pairs of legs, whether they have feathers, whether they have slimy skin or dry skin. So based on these observable traits, we can identify an organism. That's what all about dichotomous key. Okay, students, before we go into dichotomous key into a detailed version, so let us play some guessing game. So how does this game works is actually I will be thinking about something and then you need to ask me some questions to guess what I'm actually thinking. So with each of the question, you can actually eliminate some of the possibilities of what are the things that I might not be thinking. Okay, so let's play this game. Okay, the first question is, is it a sport? Okay, am I thinking about a sport? Okay, let's see what's my answer. Yes, I am thinking about a sport. So when I give this answer for this first question, you can actually eliminate all kind of uh, food or type of cars or maybe furniture. So these are the things that I'm not thinking. I'm only thinking about the sports. Okay, so now let's go to the second question. Okay, the second question is, is it a single player game? Okay, the first question I already tell it's a sports. So now the second question should be more specific. Okay, is it a single player game? Okay, let's see what's my answer. No, my answer is it's not a single player game. It's actually a multiplayer game. Alright, now let's see the third question. The third question is, it's, uh, is it the game involve any movement? Yes, the game involves some movement. Okay. So, if it's still not clear what I'm actually thinking, let's see the next question. The next question is asking whether the game needs any sports instrument to play or not. Okay, let's see what's my answer. Yes, the game needs some sports instrument to play. Okay, so by now I think you might have already get some guesses on what I'm thinking, right? Okay, so before we go into deeper, okay, let's see the last question. Okay, when you get the answer for the last question, I think you can already know what I'm thinking. So, the last question is asking, is the game needs any balls to play? Okay, is the game involve any balls or not? Okay, let's see what's my answer. No, the game does not need any balls to play. So, when I say the game does not need any balls to play, you can actually eliminate any multiplayer game that involve balls like football, soccer, Okay, all these games you can actually eliminate from my guesses. Okay, so already we already answered 5 questions and I hope that some of you already guessed the answer. So let's see whether the answer that you are guessing is correct or not. Yes, I was thinking about badminton game. So badminton is a multiplayer game and it does not need any balls to play. Okay, the only thing we are using is a shuttlecock. Okay, so this is the game that I was guessing. Alright students, I'm sure some of you might be asking why we are playing guessing game instead of studying about dichotomous key. How is it even related? This is because dichotomous key is just a complex version of a guessing game. Just like in a guessing game, you need to find an answer for questions about the unknown organism to get a piece of clue using the dichotomous key. And based on the clue, you can eliminate number of possibilities which will eventually lead to your answer. Let's see an example on how dichotomous key is being used in science. You can see there are a number of organisms listed over here, right? Now we are going to use the dichotomous key to identify the organisms based on their traits. Let's say we are looking for an animal with wings that have three pairs of legs. Okay, based on these given traits, let's identify our organism using the dichotomous key. In order to get the dichotomous key, we need to answer the first question. The first question here is asking whether it is an animal or a plant. Obviously, we are looking for an animal, right? So, let's choose the answer 1A 
and now it leads to the dichotomous key which is asking us to go to question number two. All right, so now we need to go to question number two. Question number two is asking whether our animal have legs or do not have legs. Okay, based on the keywords that given to us, it is an animal with wings and it have three pairs of legs. So we know that our animal have legs. So we need to choose the answer 2A, which is telling that our animal have legs. Okay, when we choose the answer 2A, we, the dichotomous key is asking us to go to number 3. Okay, now let's see the question number 3. Question number 3 is asking whether our animal have 3 pairs of legs or more than 3 pairs of legs. We know that our animal have 3 pairs of legs. So let's choose 3A and see what is our dichotomous key is asking us to do. Alright, when I choose the answer 3A, my dichotomous key is asking me to go to question number 4. Okay. Let's see the question number 4. Question number 4 is asking whether the animal have wings or do not have wings. Okay, based on the keyword, we know that our animal have wings. So, let's choose the answer 4a, have wings, and then we can find out our answer. Okay, let's see which organism is actually being asked in the traits that given to us. Yes, it is a butterfly. So, we know that Butterfly is an animal that have wings and have three pairs of legs. So this is how a dichotomous key works. Alright students, let's look at another example on how to use the dichotomous key. So based on the keyword given over here, it is telling that it is a flowering plant and also it produces seeds. So we need to find an organism that is being a plant, it produces flowers and also it produces seeds. So let's go to the first question. You need to remember that in a dichotomous key, we always start with the first question. Okay, based on the first question, then only you will see that which uh, question that the dichotomous key is asking you to refer to. So, the first question is asking whether our organism is an animal or plant. We know that it is a plant. So, choose 1. When I choose 1B, the dichotomous key is asking me to go to question number 6. So, I can just eliminate question number 2, 3, 4 and 5 and directly go to question number 6. Question number 6 is telling whether our organism is producing seeds or do not produce seeds. Based on the keyword, we know that our organism produces seeds. So, choose answer 6A and our dichotomous key is now asking us to go to question number 7. Question number 7 is asking whether it is a flowering or non-flowering plant. We know it is a flowering plant, so choose answer 7a. So now our dichotomous key already completed, so now we are going to know our answer. Alright, the unknown organism that have the traits of flowering plant and also produce seeds are actually bougainvillea plant. So I hope you understand how a dichotomous key works. It's quite easy, right? Alright students, we have seen some examples on how the dichotomous key works. So now let's do some exercises to ensure we really understand how the dichotomous key works. Okay, looking at this first question, you can see that there got few organisms listed over here. The organisms are butterfly, starfish, spider and snail. So as I mentioned, you need to see the first question. The first question is actually telling number 1a with legs. The dichotomous key is asking us to look at number 2. So those animals that with legs, the dichotomous key is asking us to refer to question number 2. So when you look at question number 2, the number 2 they got one is with wings, another one is without wings. So the answer for question number 2 should be only from coming from the animals that have legs. So now you look at 1B, 1B is telling that for those animals without legs, the dichotomous key is asking us to refer to question number 3. So, the answer for question number 3, it's either 3A or 3B. The answer should be coming from animals that do, do not have any legs. I hope you understand. Now, let's try this example. Okay, let's do the question number 2A with wings. Okay, so... We need to identify first what are the animals that have legs. From this, from this diagram, we can see that 
Butterfly and spider are the animals that have legs. So your answer for 2A with wings should be butterfly. Because butterfly and spider, only butterfly have the wings. So the answer for 2B without wings will be spider. So you know that your answer for 2A and B should be either butterfly or spider only. It cannot come from starfish or snail. Okay, because starfish and snail, they do not have legs. So this answer should be for question number 3. So if you look at 3A with shell, so out of starfish and snail, only snail have the shell. So your answer for 3A is snail. And then for without shell, it should be starfish. Quite easy, right? So you just need to know how to read the dichotomous key. Once you manage to read them, you can easily answer the questions. Alright students, we have come to the end part of this video. I hope you understand about dichotomous key and how to answer questions related to dichotomous key. Before I end this video, a humble request, please subscribe to Study Smart channel. You can anticipate more study related videos in a fun and interesting day. That's all from me. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.